Once again, I have been blessed with two more lovely kids. Yesterday morning when I bring them to the bush with my flashlight, by the way, because it was dark sometime after five in the morning. And she disappeared out of the trees. I didn't know where she turned. And because it was kind of getting late for me to go and about to go to work, I never have time to look for her, you know? So when I came in now in the evening, um, I heard some little kids crying. So I was wondering, you know, if it was she who had the kid. And to my surprise, yes, it was her, you know? Unfortunately, I don't even know who the father for these kids are because um, when she called Ram last year and I bring her to the Ram up the road, the virgin told me said the Ram sick, so I had was to bring her down the road for another Ram. And that Ram down the road now looks shaky, so to speak. And she decided that she wasn't going to allow the Ram to jump her because. All they tried the ram did I try to jump her, she did that run up and down and she did car ram. So I had to bring her back home. And then I kinda suspect that it was one of her brother that jumped her. I'm hoping not, but I kinda get that feeling, you know. And normally when that happened, the kids them don't really prosper, but I'm just hoping that these will survive, you know. Yeah. By the way, she has two lovely rams. I was hoping that she would have two yogurt, but that's not the case. Yeah. Giving her her breakfast as well. <laughs> Come here. Uh. And then now, last night when I, um, after I bring them over from the bush last night, I realized that this, the fly them start to work, you know? Yeah. So I had to spray them navel and thing. This is one boy. And this is the other boy. But this one is the one that um, they fly them with um, Leah. Leon. So I just spray the boat off them. Yeah. Few weeks from now, be a trouble. And you see. Those of us who raise goat, we know the, um, the trouble that um, goat kids give, especially when they're bringing them to the bush or from the bush. They give a lot of trouble. And yet still, you have people out there who come and thief them. But <clears throat> I tell them not come in, honest to God. I tell them, say, don't try. I tell them that. But just prepare for anything. That's all I'm going to say. A virgin in, in the district that I live, put up on him the gate, out by the gate, beware. He never say beware of dog. He never say beware of gun. By the way, I don't have any gun, by the way. I try to live for God, you know? Yeah. But him just mark on the gate, beware. You know? Yeah. So. The Bible says who can well the Bible never said that by the way, but who can hear, I go feel, yeah. Because a lot of times we say that the Bible said this and the Bible said that when truth and behold, it's not in the Bible. So yeah. Truth be told, a lot of things that we say in the Bible ain't in it. You know? But it's very um hard for people to uh, struggle with their animals and then uh, you have people who just come and take them like they are the owner you know and me know a few of them in my district you know me know a few of them some years ago me and them they have a look of fist fight and uh, uh, I even send message with one of them who 